Natural nitrogen consists of two stable isotopes, nitrogen-14, which makes up the vast majority of naturally occurring nitrogen, and nitrogen-15. 14 radioactive isotopes have also been found so far, with atomic masses ranging from 10 to 25, and one nuclear isomers 11 millinewtons. All of these radioisotopes are short-lived, with the longest-lived one being nitrogen-13 with a half-life of 9.965 minutes. All of the others have half-lives below 7.15 seconds, with most of these being below 5 eighths of a second. Most of the isotopes with atomic mass numbers below 14 decay to isotopes of carbon. While most of the isotopes with masses above 15 decay to isotopes of oxygen, the shortest lived known isotope is nitrogen-10, with a half-life of about 2.3 microseconds. The relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14.0067. Natural isotopes Nitrogen-14 Nitrogen-14 is one of two stable isotopes of the chemical element nitrogen, which makes about 99.636% of natural nitrogen. Nitrogen-14 is one of the very few stable nuclides with both an odd number of protons and of neutrons. Each of these contributes a nuclear spin of plus or minus spin one-half, giving the nucleus a total magnetic spin of one. Like all elements heavier than lithium, the original source of nitrogen-14 and nitrogen-15 in the universe is believed to be stellar nucleosynthesis, where they are produced as part of the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen cycle. Nitrogen-14 is the source of naturally occurring carbon-14. Some kinds of cosmic radiation cause a nuclear reaction with nitrogen-14 in the upper atmosphere of the Earth creating carbon-14, which decays back to nitrogen-14 with a half-life of 5,730 plus or minus 40 years. Nitrogen-15 Nitrogen-15 is a rare stable isotope of nitrogen. The isotope is often used in agricultural and medical research. For example in the Messelson style experiment to establish the nature of DNA replication. An extension of this research resulted in development of DNA-based stable isotope probing, which allows examination of links between metabolic function and taxonomic identity of microorganisms in the environment. Without the need for culture isolation, nitrogen-15 is extensively used to trace mineral nitrogen compounds in the environment and when combined with the use of other isotopic labels, is also a very important tracer for describing the fate of nitrogenous organic pollutants. Nitrogen-15 is frequently used in NMR, because unlike the more abundant nitrogen-14, that has an integer nuclear spin and thus a quadrupole moment, N-15 has a fractional nuclear spin of one-half, which offers advantages for NMR like narrower line width. Proteins can be isotopically labeled by cultivating them in a medium containing nitrogen-15 as the only source of nitrogen. In addition, nitrogen-15 is used to label proteins in quantitative proteomics. Also, the ratio of 15N, 14N in an organism can give clues about its diet, as movement up the food chain tends to concentrate the 15N isotope by 3 to with each step of the food chain. Nitrogen-15 presents one of the lowest thermal neutron capture cross-sections of all isotopes. Two sources of nitrogen-15 are the positron emission of oxygen-15 and the beta decay of carbon-15. Table. Carrot bold for stable isotopes. Carrot immediately decays into two alpha particles for a net reaction of 12N to 34He plus E plus. Carrot used in positron emission tomography, notes the precision of the isotope abundances and atomic mass is limited through variations. The given ranges should be applicable to any normal terrestrial material. Values marked hash are not purely derived from experimental data, but at least partly from systematic trends. Spins with weak assignment arguments are enclosed in parentheses. Uncertainties are given in concise form in parentheses after the corresponding last digits. 
Nuclide masses are given by IUPAP Commission on Symbols, Units, Nomenclature, Atomic Masses and Fundamental Constants. Isotope abundances are given by IUPAC Commission on Isotopic Abundances and Atomic Weights.